rockets. Not the final frontier, but it takes us to the final frontier. Plus they're fiery and awesome, and they usually work. So we are gonna be talking about rockets. This one actually is specifically about launch vehicles. And what launch vehicles are here for is to, well, they're here to get us away. We use launch vehicles to go from the surface of the earth, take a payload, a satellite, up into space, usually into orbit, and sometimes even further than just orbit around earth. At the bottom of each stage, you have the rocket engine and Above that, within the same stage, you have all of the fuel that's gonna go into that engine. So the first stage is gonna be the most powerful, it's going to burn the most fuel, and that's gonna do what I'd call the, a majority of the work of getting into space. And once that's been achieved, that stage will actually fall off because why take extra engines and fuel tank that's empty and, and not doing anything anymore? Just get rid of that stuff. Then above that you have the second stage and then you keep going a second and then probably a third stage above that then end up being smaller and, and optimized for where they're going to be operating also. And on top is the capsule and the capsule here is the payload. And that's, that's the reason the whole rocket exists to get that capsule where it needs to go. Kind of important when you want to go to space. Okay, so we've got rockets besides them being awesome in their own right there are reasons to use them. First of all, if you're going to be exploring space, you can't do that on Earth. You're gonna to have to get going. If you wanna to go to the moon, you wanna to go to Mars, an asteroid, a comet, any other planet, anywhere that's not Earth, you're gonna to have to go to space. You need rockets for that, easy. Some other, you know, uh, understandable, maybe less obvious ones are things like space-based communication. Satellite phone calls, satellite radio, satellite TV, Earth observation satellites, spy satellites, everyone loves to think about those, weather satellites, and, and things of this nature. Something you may have heard of, I don't know, GPS, global positioning system. It's probably been hours since you used it. That's amazing, and we can only do that because we got satellites in space. But before we even can, can talk more about rockets, we should probably talk about why, why are we not just using airplanes to go to space? I would say we have, we have two, two, different, two different channels, two different reasons that we're not using airplanes to get to space. Uh, first of all, it, it has a little bit to do with the engines. Jet engines, what they do is the, the airplane has the fuel for that jet engine. To attach the jet engine, then the oxygen that it needs comes from the atmosphere. It sucks in air, then it combines it with the fuel plus the heat, there you go, combustion. Separately, we have rocket engines. Instead of pulling the oxygen from the air, they bring the oxidizer with them to react with the fuel, again, along with the heat. And you put those together, you have your, your fire, your ex controlled explosion, and you're sending your rocket in the right direction. But there's also this other interesting concept uh, that is the von Karman line. And so a while back, von Karman, uh, he did this really neat derivation, a really neat calculation that showed that above a certain altitude, about 100 kilometers, a nice round number, or 62 miles, you, you, you reach this area where you kind of transition from being an airplane into being a spacecraft or being in orbit around the Earth. The way that an airplane is going to generate lift to fly is by traveling forward, is going through the air, it pushes air down, which then pushes the aircraft up, that gives you the lift to fly. Well, what happens is as you get to higher and higher altitudes, the air gets thinner and you have to travel faster to get the same amount of lift. Well, at 62 miles at 100 kilometers, you get to the von Karman line and the speed that your airplane would need to go to stay flying to get enough lift to fly is the speed that a spacecraft at that altitude would have to travel to orbit the Earth. So that, that's kind of what breaks it down. So we've talked about rockets as a big idea and why we use rockets and, and how they're getting us to space and that they take their oxidizer with them. What's so awesome is where else in, I don't know, anywhere, do you have such a contrast between, on the one hand, a successful launch being, you have a multi-hundred million dollar satellite in space, and on the other hand, usually a fiery explosion, which looks awesome. It's just, it's just not the most efficient way to have explosions that are fun to look at. So that's why we go to space, and that's why we use rockets to get there. I'm Brian with So Much Science. Subscribe to our channel and check out the website. 
All right, when in doubt, restart the rocket and your phone. It could work. <laughs> <laughs> Our website and subscribe to the channel for blah, blah, blah. words. All right.